Hives are itchy, red, swollen areas, or welts on the skin. They can appear suddenly anywhere on the body, often on the torso. These red, swollen welts vary greatly in size. They can be very small or several inches large. Other symptoms include swelling of the lips and around the eyes. In severe cases, there may be difficulty breathing. About 20% of the world's population experiences hives at least once. This condition, also known as urticaria, is extremely common. Allergies are the most frequent cause of hives. These allergies can be to foods, dust mites, or pollen. Infections, like the common cold, can also lead to hives. Common medications, such as ibuprofen and aspirin, may trigger them. Additionally, physical conditions like cold, heat, or sun exposure can cause hives. Usually, hives disappear within 24 hours. An entire episode typically resolves within six weeks. If it lasts longer than six weeks, it is considered chronic hives or chronic urticaria. The main issue behind hives is an allergic reaction. This means our immune system overreacts to a trigger like certain foods or medications. Activation of immune cells in the skin, such as basophils and mast cells, occurs. They release histamine and other inflammatory mediators. Histamine causes dilation of small blood vessels in the skin, leading to redness. It also increases the permeability of blood vessels. Fluid leaks into surrounding tissues, causing swelling and raised red skin. This fluid accumulation creates raised skin that is often itchy. The itchiness is primarily due to histamine. Histamine binds to nerves, irritating them, which we perceive as itchiness. Diagnosis of hives is typically based on clinical symptoms. The first line of treatment is to avoid known allergens and triggers. Antihistamine medications are also used. Non-sedating H1 antihistamines are the mainstay of treatment for both acute and chronic urticaria. Examples include cetirizine, loratadine, and fexofenadine. These medications work by blocking the action of histamine, which helps relieve symptoms. The example of hives in the movie Hitch is indeed a classic representation. In this film, the main protagonist experiences a dramatic swelling of the face and lips after eating seafood. This condition is called angioedema, a complication of hives. Angioedema is especially concerning when swelling of the throat and tongue occurs. This can lead to difficulty in breathing and becomes a medical emergency. Angioedema is more common in people with chronic urticaria and a history of allergies. While it can be severe, angioedema is not always life-threatening. However, if it escalates into anaphylaxis, it becomes a critical condition. Anaphylaxis is a rapid, whole-body allergic reaction that includes the respiratory system. It can cause bronchoconstriction and throat swelling, potentially leading to death without rapid medical intervention. For severe cases of angioedema, epinephrine or adrenaline is the first-line treatment. It is usually administered via an auto-injector. Avoiding triggers is a crucial strategy to prevent hives. Additionally, cold compresses can soothe the skin and reduce itching. A lukewarm bath with oatmeal can also provide relief for the skin and itching.